Latest on what is now Tropical Storm Idai has been named by Matteo France. A tropical storm with winds of 50 miles per hour and a pressure of 992 millibars. 17.4 degrees south, 42.5 east at 6 a.m. Eastern African time this March the 10th. On the CDPS scale, uh, it's been... Uh, downgraded slightly in the last few hours down to stage four high-end stage four on the cdps scale this is owing to an expected lower intensity as it makes its landfall in mozambique later this week we'll see whether that happens it could still remain strong or become strong remain strong after that uh 50 miles an hour right now 992 millibars and there is its location just off the western coast of Madagascar, 29 miles from the island of Juan de Nova, 110 miles from Mayan Tirano in Madagascar, 232 from Morondava, 370 from Kelimane in uh, Mozambique, and 527 from Beira, which is the fourth largest city in Mozambique. Tropical storm conditions are possible in these yellow areas in the next 48 hours since there are no official warnings in effect in Madagascar. This is the graphic that we've decided to put up instead. So all of those yellow areas there could receive tropical storm conditions. Some of them probably already are. It is a sparsely populated coastline of Madagascar, the western coast. There are some uh, significant towns there, though, which could receive tropical storm force winds and heavy rainfall. And the storm is likely to move towards the west, towards uh, Mozambique, over the channel again, uh, back towards the African continent. Uh, by the end of the week, Thursday, Friday, it should make landfall. Could be a Category 2 or 3 by the time it gets there. We were initially expecting Category 4. That's been brought down a little bit according to the models. We'll, we'll see whether that turns out that way or not. Sea surface temperatures certainly won't stop it from intensifying, though. There they are, around 27, maybe even higher than that, in the Mozambique Channel. Uh, those are temperatures right now this morning, so those were the low temperatures we're seeing over land there. And this is the storm over the next few days. The green areas, tropical storm force winds. The yellow areas, hurricane force winds. A pretty compact system throughout, to be honest. That's why the CDPS scale only has it at stage four. Uh, movement towards the west eventually, and then that landfall location not too far away from Beira in Mozambique, if it works out that way. Uh, as we're expecting on this graphic. That's the GFS model run. Other models may differ, as we're about to find out in just a moment. But first, chances of tropical storm force winds are listed here. Juan de Nova, 95%, pretty much certain. Uh, Mine Tirano at 85% now as well. Uh, Basasta, India, 40%. That's the small island towards the south. And in Mozambique, chances around half chance, maybe a little bit more. This is very curious. The JTWC, at their last update, uh, had it at 110 knots. That's 125 miles an hour, category 3. HWRF had category 4. I think it was the Coamps model there, or the COTC, having category 5. Not so sure about that. Sea surface temperature is going to remain warm, relative humidity is going to be decent, and you can see the track forecast there. We're all talking about that curvature, the ETWC having a much more, um, much sharper curve towards the west than the models are saying, so it'll be interesting to see whether that does play out. Now that might mean that this storm stalls now, and that could possibly lead to upwelling, which would slow its intensification. Uh, but if it does do a more rounded curve towards the south and then west, it will have more warm waters to feed on. This is how the storm's been looking in the latest frames on the satellite imagery. A northern side looking a little bit bare in those last frames, but convection blowing up again after it was waning earlier today. And possible center location there as well, quite clear in those latest frames there. We'll keep you updated on this storm. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. Of course, you can come into direct contact with us by uh, messaging fool13 on Discord at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. And our partners are also doing updates Mateo a Cyclo Maurice on Facebook.